Welcome to 2024. This is my first video, well, first long extreme video, proper video, proper video of the year, because the only videos I've done so far for this year are the shorts, um, which are super shorts, which are coming along fairly nicely. Unfortunately, not for this room, because with the next couple of series coming out in the next few years, I've decided to try and make some space. How do I do this? By clearing out all the items that have super things in them and then moving them to a bigger storage unit so I can kind of move all the items around and and make space for the new stuff, I guess. Will it work? I hope so. Um, so, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Lego sets. Yes, along with dealing with the new lot of Super Zings, we also have new Sonic Lego, which is another big budget, big budget, um, oh, um, I'm trying to come up, come up with like a, um, like, like a good, um, name to call it, like a parody, like, like a parody name, big budget, um, big budget, um, you know what, forget it, um, so there was two sets that have come out. There's actually three sets. Um, a big budget bonus got one right. Uh, there's um, there's there's supposed to be three sets coming out. Well, have come out. There's two box sets which are well. I've got both of them. I'm going to show you them. Um, unfortunately, I've forgotten what they're called. Um, Knuckles Guardian Mech and uh, I think it's Shadows Escape and Knuckles Guardian Mech. I'm going to. Put photos, official photos, you know, from like I think Lego photo, official product shots and Lego the boxes basically from Lego or like hopefully I'll be a little bit from Lego because I don't, I don't want to have to deal with any kind of um other YouTube copyright disputes about oh I made this image that's my background I'm just gonna use one that's officially licensed officially produced by Lego because that's the one where it's big business I've got to expect someone to use it in a video plus it's um a review so I've got to expect that or I might just do another um thumbnail shot with the box but I that that uses more time when I do that well if, if I do I've got to, I've got to worry about lighting. So uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, mate. Which is which is probably probably going to be out in, in about like twenty minutes time, because that's how these normally videos normally go. If you recall from last year, I did multiple Lego videos. Um, however, this year I'm only going to do one because they're relatively, relatively small sets. So why not do two small sets and one big video? Also, if I do this, this will enable me to have time to do another short video later today. I think it's only currently four p.m. If I do this video now and upload it before midnight, I'll be able to do a, a short video last couple of hours or a couple of hours after this video comes out. So it's, it's, it's a two video, it's a two video Saturday. I think it's Saturday the uh, 6th of January. So start of the new year. Uh, uh, at least I hope I'm not going to have any YouTube PC problems. This over here, just for like a quick thing before we start, this is the Extreme Riders Super Things tin. Super Things in this case. It's here because I am currently sorting out, because the shorts videos all feature exclusive Super Things in that big box of, in, in that big Mission Battle box. They're all jumbled up and the reason that the items are all out here so I can sort them back and I can put them in the, into the respective store units. So I can put them in, in these bigger, bigger storage units, external store storage units. So. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a chaotic time, but hopefully everything will go okay. It's going okay so far, which is always so good. Right, shall we get on with the sets and the reviews of the sets? Great. Right. Firstly, we have Shadows Escape. Now, main thing about Shadows Escape is that because it features the Shadow minifigure who joins. Well, there's three minifigures in this wave. There's Shadow and Knuckles and Rouge. Um, of course, these will be joining the figure lineup that um, normally at first consisted of Sonic, Tails, and Amy. First up, I have Shadow. What do I think of this Shadow figure? I think they've done an all right job. Of course, with a, as a person with a Club of Machi Machi blush to compare this head sculpt to, which is um, maybe a bit unfair because this that, that's a lot bigger. I think they've done a very, 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 very good job. Um, I recall his chest for being a lot. Big, bigger than this, but I haven't really 
I play too many Sonic games, so um, I can't really say anything about that. Printing's on point. I but printing's on point. I'm going to say same with Sonic. His uh, printing's on point. Um, there's some gold on his boots, some gold on his um cuffs. I think they've got this on point too. Um, of course, I haven't played any games that have Future Shadow because I think there was only one. Huh. So um. Hmm, bit annoyed by that, but what you could have do that, that that game was rated twelve, probably didn't do very good for Sega's um sales. Anyway. Shadow comes with his bike. Which is a thing you cannot have Shadow without, or you can either have this or like a revolver, but of course they have, they have to go over his bike because he can't have guns in a kid's thing, right. Oh god, right. Shadow can go on to his bike if we can just pull up honk, put him on. There we go. There you go, sir. Larry Bundy Jr. reference here, in case you didn't catch that, uh, which you probably won't, because you probably don't, don't won't know, I won't have a clue who he is. I know who he is. He's a games reviewer, which is appropriate because Shadow the Hedgehog is a game. <laughs> um, so Shadow's bike. What do I think? Hmm. Again, it's okay. Again, what do I think? Of, what do I think of the design? Um, when this came out in, I think it was in two thousand six. I think it was. I don't know, it might have been 2005, I think it was 2005. 2005 was ringing a few bells for me. Hmm, ding a ling. <laughs> um, I think this was Sega's, oh, let's all be dark and edgy phase, so it's understandable why he has a bike. What I didn't get at first, though, was these uh, two white things that come out. They do contrast with the black nice. There's no stickers in this set, which is another, another plus, all the things being printed. It took me a while to figure out what these are supposed to be until I realised they're like these bike stoppers to stop it from falling over. Because if you have it without, it just kind of wonks off to the side. So, uh. You made it work, uh, Lego. Right, you go over there while I introduce the other part to this um, amazing set. Which is a bit I don't quite get. Coming from a person who hasn't played Shadow the Hedgehog. Eggman's house. No, I'm not joking. This is um not Eggman's house. More, this is a um a containment storage unit. Pardon, the thing's not down. There we go. How does this work? Um, very interestingly, right. This panel here, like a danger part, you 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 push it. And multiple things happen. Let's have a look. Let's 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 have it. Oh. I did it wrong. Sorry, let's do that again. Uh, it's like Ashen's all over again, right? Up. Oh, oh, um. All together. Now let's have at it! There we go. You press on the thing, the barrier comes down, and this little thing comes off too, which. And you're, you're meant to put Shadow in there, but, um. Personally, I think it's a lot more difficult to put Shadow in there. If if you have a, if you have a look, it's like a printed piece with like shadow on it. Give me a minute while I, while I uh, reposition the um the good older uh, dome. Another thing that I will show you in a, in a couple of seconds is this. Not only can you move it up and down, but you you can also push it back like he's just broken it, <laughs> which I think is utter utterly hilarious. He says in his British accent that he has, because he's British. Right, go off to the side. And we'll introduce the, um... Oh, the, uh, the badnik that, that you get. I almost forgot it came with a badnik. Uh, the rhino, I forgot his name. A limited, li limited articulation, but again, that's not much of a problem. Um, I got confused which way to, to put this around. I thought you're supposed to put it like this, because there's, there's a hole you're supposed to put one of the, the, uh, the chicklies inside, but, uh, I thought this was meant to be like a door to like cover it up and protect, but um, no, apparently not. You're supposed to put it on like this. It's like a hat. Why like? Yeah, I'm confused. Biggest bad nick I think we've had so far. Good, good, good. Now before I move on to the uh, Knuckles Guardian mech set, we have got. I decided to muck around with these things a bit, and now I'll introduce them. The what the things that aren't uh, the things that are mucked about with. First, right, firstly, I have a crab meat figure here, and I put the next fist on it because I thought it would look nice and edgy and hard and tough with the fists on, but it just looks stupid silly. So let's remove 
or guests. Otherwise, it's crab meat hands gone. I wonder what they are. I'll do deal with that. Deal with that in, 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 in a minute. Then we have a chopper, which with the Eggman mech legs from the previous wave. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 I had my Super Sentai brain on. Not 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 my uh, not my uh, Sonic brain. Uh, hang on, give me a minute while I remove these because it's not going to be easy. Hang on. Oh, uh, all the pieces are sticking together. Hang on, you might want to give me a minute. Hang on, I'm nearly there. Just on one. What's the other? Again, it's come off. If you can hear that, if you can hear that in the in the background, that's a shredder. Uh, no, it's not um, the one from Exit for that is for that would be illegal. Right. Oh, and the the fins on upside down as well. Apologies. Right, so the chopper here has been reassembled, repurposed. Hmm, I think we've been over him before, but he's another wave one. Bad guy, bad, bad Nick. Sorry. And again, give me a give me a moment while I re connect Eggman's mech feet to the mech body. Here we go. You're supposed to put a bad Nick in there, like an animal in there, that, like opens. And everything's just gone horribly wrong. Didn't expect that to happen. Yeah, okay, that'll uh, make that'll teach me for trying to show this off on video. Uh, unscripted. And then, of course, we have the... Um, two more things to hijack and mess around with before we get to the mech, which is majorly hijacked with, and you'll see why in just a moment. But here is the Buzz Bomber. Cool on the end. I thought this, I thought this was a... Clever design where he could just use the claw, bend the claw around, do it like this, bend it one way, or bend bend it bend it the other way, and the uh, the uh, his uh, jet things could just come off. Oh great! Uh, hang on. Let me just remove the uh, the claw, and uh, hopefully everything will be all right. Right, here's the buzz bomber. And the claw that should go on to one of the hands, but one of the arms are currently being used on Knuckles' mech, so I'll shut off in a minute. And of course, the last item I hijacked with just a tiny bit Eggman's main fire ship thing of the this and don't know gun. Don't really know what I was doing. This is one of Knuckles' mechs. Um, oh, come on, man. Um, quills, deal with you in a minute. The gun is also belongs to Eggman's ship. It goes on the the back nodule there, but um, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll do that in a minute. And of course, we have the actual animal. Let's just move it back a bit. There we go. Uh, Knuckles mech, but it's all hijacked and looks horrible. Um, for a start, these hands. Secondly. The crab claws on top, and thirdly, the saw blade that's right in the middle, and it comes down, and uh, it's like a, it's like a really messed up tail, and everything's going wrong. Right, so what's meant to happen, of course, is, is, is this, this is meant to come off. There we go. And these bits on here, they come off too. And this is how it's okay. That's not how it's meant to look. These are. Other red things are meant to come off as well, at the end of the hands too. Like that, so now you have a mech with ball joints for heart, for arms. Now, let's just reassemble all this, and you're going to watch me do it, because why not? Oh, the camera's gone, gone a bit wonky, or is that the mech? I think the mech's gone wonky, it's just um, not me, sorry. Um, right, so... These have the crab meat claws on them, so let's just remove them and attach them back to the, cla the crab meat as they were. Do the same on the other side. Get that on. There we are. So the crab meat is all fine and done. 
and the two mech arms for Eggman's mech here. The claw goes on one of them. That be uh, uh, this one. There you go. And then the sword blade, of course. These two pieces split. Where we put the other one off to the side, keep the other one, attach it to the arm like this. And then we attach the arms to the main body of the ship. Like that. And we take the lower half and put them together. And that's Eggman's Death Egg Robot, I think it's called. Right, that's all done. Uh, 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 oh, it isn't. Oh, I oh, almost forgot. You're supposed to take the blaster here, and then this piece here, and then the ball joint on the back. That's what I meant to attach this to. And you're supposed to move this around, spin this around so it, fits, so, so it faces the, uh, the top. And everything's gone horribly wrong. Oh, there we are. Like that. From, from the back. Yeah, hmm. 16 minutes so far. We haven't even reviewed the actual mech yet. All the set, great. How do we reassemble the mech in order for you to view it like a viewer? Right, so there's three of these red thingies. Two go on the uh, top, like that. And the third one goes round back. So now he can position these on top and it comes off. What a failure. Hang on. There we are. Got it back. Oh, and nothing, is, nothing goes on these studs either. I think that's a bit of a shame actually. They should have done something with that. And these white fists, they go on the end. And I think that... And, oh god, that was a... I put Thunderball on the end of the desk with... Um, with a hammer jack in it and it just fell off oh, um, got on the uh, side there bit of a tight cramp this is right we'll, we'll probably review the mech in a bit but first let's review let's review the minifigures that you get in the set of course you get knuckles and rouge of course of the whole oh she steals the master emerald that he's guarding um, and she's like a thief, so she knows what she's doing, and then, but he's like a bit dumb, but strong, and... Uh, you, you know, they could have easily put Rouge as Shadow, but they put Rouge of Knuckles, because of Master Emerald. Mm. Is this teasing a thing to do with Sonic Movie 3, or is this just generic? Because you know it's just modern Sonic storyline. Um, Knuckles, right, we'll do Knuckles first. Um, Knuckles, I think Knuckles is actually very interesting because these pieces come off here, new mould, and they fit over his hands, as you can see. The only problem is, articulation with these fists aren't very limited, it feels very tight, although you could move them around like I am doing, but it just feels like oh, oh, the arms will break. Head mould, mm, not bad, quite good actually. Tail, just looks like someone's drawn it on, but nothing you can do about that. Um, again, not bad, not bad. They've done quite a good job with uh, this. Also, I remember saying in the... Oh no, I said earlier that it, that this video was my first one in, 20, in 2024. Is it? Or is it my 400s? I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting. I, I remember saying, it, saying in that video, I don't remember that Knuckles has purple eyes. He does according to this. Hmm. And of course we have Rouge, which is already being scalped on other sites for reasons. Uh, like, no joke, before I built this set, I was just curious. Uh, I went on to google.com and searched for, I think, Rouge the Bat minifigure. And under shopping, it's like it does a third-party Lego store. And they're selling this figure, this just this figure, I think for fourteen for fourteen ninety nine. Um, this This entire set here... This entire set is 30 quid. So they're selling this figure for just um, like very, very close to the original price of this set. I want to say. Not close at all, sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, upscale this figure 
Um, somebody tells me they intended for that to happen. They, they intended to release this figure um, about this time. And needless to say, I saw it, got it. Not going to be reselling it. What are you going to do? I don't know. Um, interestingly enough, uh, she and Amy are the only characters uh, not to have plushies be made of. Because much and much of plushies be made of them yet. Although, spoilers! There will be an Amy plush be made this year. Rouge, however, doesn't have a plush, although I have a feeling that she will get one very, very soon. What do I think of the, the minifigure design? I've put the, uh, the wings together nice. New mould, I believe. If it's not, then shame on me. Um, they've actually been very, very brave to include a figure that has... Well, it's Rouge, what do you expect? Um, very, bra very, very brave. Of course, of course Lego, because they're normally really family-friendly. Uh, very, very... Uh, no, I admire that. They didn't take away from her design at all. So, you go on there, mate, and I'll review the rest of the stuff. Firstly, you get this. Not sure what it is. And the Master Emerald goes inside there. Don't, don't know if this is a new mould or, or anything, but there's like a very, very like good like sparkly effect, which I do enjoy. The top of the emerald does come off, and there's like some three smaller emeralds in there. Which are for Rouge, obviously. Of course, Rouge has her own vehicle. Which, I'm not sure what it is. It's like a jet. The wings don't close like properly, which is a bit unsatisfying to me, because I was expecting like to close like down the, um, the middle, but it's not really much of a problem. Oh god, that's the cyber squatting you just heard. Uh, can't get these super things sorted out. It gets a lot longer. Sorry, it is rouge after all. Gets a lot longer with the um, the good old uh, Wings expansion. Uh, I think this is a good vehicle. These are meant to be bat fangs, I believe. But what you can do is that there's a... It pulls a Don Blaster Zangalas sword where you have this stud at the bottom and this tube on top of the emerald and it can carry it, which is... um. A good design, makes me wonder why it wasn't in uh, any official Sega games, at least I don't think so. Ingenious, Sega will be nicking that idea. They've, they've probably got the rights to it anyway. <laughs> so, very nice. And as for Knuckles Mech, I've got to make this really quick because there's only 15% battery left on the camera. Um, you've seen everything, you've seen me re um, make the mech from all the pieces from earlier. Fists, good. N gloved fists. These should have had something done with them, but okay. Um, control panel, good, good, good. They've made the very good decision not including a four, two by four, just a tile, so it's easy to move the figure inside. These are not stickers; these are printed pieces, printed tiles. These are stud shooters with no studs inside there because I don't want any studs to go missing. Um, yeah, and that's it. Very good mech. It looks kind of resembles Knuckles with the with the footwear. Um, very very good mech. Um, cause pe of course, uh, knowing what the uh, the Sonic fandom is like, they'll probably just buy the set just for the uh, Rouge figure. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, I mean that's flipping understandable. Wave two, and we and we already have a Rouge figure. Lego group, you knew what you were doing. Sega, you know you knew what you were doing. Do you think um they've got a you think one of the people who work at Sega or Devin Tot or not Sega, not Devin Tot, but you think someone who works at Sega or Lego browses Devin Tot every so often to see if any to see if there's like a marketing reason? Cause think about it. People like me who are who are, who are re reviewing this set and pointing out that oh look there's a rouge minifigure in it. That might make people want to buy the set more. Hmm, if you think about it, it's very clever. And that series took me about five um, minutes to come up with. <laughs> Which is a bit stupid, I know, because I meant to know about all this business stuff, you know, and what with Super Zings and being in the Lego for such a long time. And yes, I am completely aware that you can replace the guards on his bike with Nexos powered shield thingies and everything is so hilariously and yeah hmm I've got a base play here should I line all the, uh, the something carries upon them you know Knuckles Shadow Amy Tails Sonic you know in case they do more 
I can't wait for a very big and bulky Amiga figure to come out.